Herkese iyi akşamlar. Bugün yeni bir konuğum olacak. Yurt dışından uzaklardan Rusya'dan. Koku takibi köpekleri konusunda konuşacağız. Kendisi aynı zamanda benim de hocam. Çok şey kattı bu eğitimlerimize. Şimdi bakalım. Onu da bekleyelim. <gülüyor> Herkese iyi akşamlar arkadaşlar. Herkesin sağlığı, sıhhati, keyfi nedir inşallah. Bugün konuğum Lubov Koşaveya, Rusya'dan hem arama kurtarma gönüllüsü hem de koku takibi köpekleri eğitmeni. Bakalım bağlanabilecek mi? Gündüz bir deneme yaptık, başarılı olduk ama. Elif, geçenlerde senin kulaklarını çınlattık. Bir görüşelim, ben arayacağım seni. Evet, Lubov gelemedi bir türlü. Deneyim bakayım gelmiş mi? Herkese iyi akşamlar arkadaşlar. Evet takipçi Burak hoş geldin. Seninle de bir program yapacağız operasyonel konularda. Evet aynı selamlar. Allah Allah bir türlü bağlanamadı. Lubov. Aslında gündüz başarmıştık. Bu arada görüyorsunuz benim iyi bir amele yanığım oldu. İki gündür tarlada çalıştık. Biraz soyunduk artık. İzmir'e selamlar. Bir daha deneyelim. Lubov, uh, from the cell phone I think. So I just try. Ah, okay. Hi. Ah, I... <laughs> yes. Finally, I reach you. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Oh, fine. Thank you. And how are you? Very good. Very good. Just isolate ourselves at the kennel. Keep working with the dogs and the farmer job. You see the color, farmer job. <laughs> <laughs> As usual. <laughs> I It's even not wonder, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't stay long time doing without doing anything, and I keep working with the dogs and the, going to uh, field and the, just plant some farms, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you are oh, happy to have such a great kennel, you know. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> so good to see you again. This is long. Time. Yeah, nice uh, to see you too. Talking to each other. Thank you very much. Uh, you reply our question about the men training. Many times uh -huh. you have a lot. So I want to start with uh, information about you. Could you please introduce yourself? Uh, so I'm from Russia. I'm yes. a dog handler. And uh, I uh, also have a um, team uh, as instructor and uh, head uh, since uh, 2009. I managed a search and rescue team uh, yeah. in Russia. And uh, before that, uh, it was in north of Russia, and now I moved to the south and oh. continue to have uh, this team. Also, I'm a professional rescuer, and I was um, uh, a canine instructor of uh, uh, our region uh, rescue service uh, oh, as a canine. Yeah, Absolutely. some years I spent with my local rescue service. Uh, and uh, now I continue to manage uh, my search and rescue team. And uh, we work together with uh, different uh, rescue organization and police also, uh, with the mentoring dogs, with the human remind dogs, and with AirSend for sure. Yeah, for sure. So uh, it's, you have a long uh, background about the, with the dogs. And before dog handler or instructor, what was your job? Oh, you know, I, uh, how I can explain? I uh, was uh, really close to canine world since I was a child. Oh, I, yes. uh, <laughs> I grew some sheep uh, with a dog in my childhood. And then I help uh, hunters to train hunting dogs. Yeah, I and, remember uh, But professional, I start uh, with K9 job uh, in 2009 um, and go in professional world. But before uh, this, I uh, have, um, I get a lawyer education uh, as a lawyer. Um, and uh, then also I have education as a K9 handler. 
That's great. Uh, in 2010, I was uh, in Ukraine and uh, finished there uh, some course uh, of uh, emergency operational center, their K9 center, also as a rescue handler. Uh, we was uh, and and I, I think we were we was there. Uh, I, we visit together this center. We visit not this center. We visit together a uh, police center in Odessa. Oh yes, in Odessa. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We uh, organize with them uh, some uh, mentoring events and seminars, and uh, we also cooperate with them often. Yeah, that's great. So uh, you tell you have a search and rescue team right now in Russia as a volunteer, this is the volunteer team or the government team? Uh, you know how I can explain, part of guys are uh, professional rescue handlers and uh, it looks like, uh, you know, when they have a working day, they are uh, professional handlers and go to calls out as professional and when they have a holiday, they go to calls out as a volunteers, you know. <laughs> wow, what a, a volunteering is this. This is a great job, you know. Many yes. uh, people, officers, if they are off day, they don't go anything. But your guys, yeah. if they off day, they are going to operation, right? Eh? Yeah, my guys That's working great. every every time, every time somebody needs. And part of our uh, guys are uh, totally volunteers, and they have another job as a teachers, uh, as a managers, and so on. That's great. Okay, so what kind of operations, rescue operations you have? For example, missing in the woods, you know, forest, or in the city operations? Uh, yes, uh, you know, part of uh, our cases are uh, in, from forest, woods, uh, and uh, swamps, and so on. And uh, part we work in a city mm -hmm. with a suicide guys, uh, mm -hmm. with a psychological problem people. Yeah. Uh, with a different uh, situation when somebody just uh, goes somewhere and lost and nobody know where is this person. It should, it can be uh, like a criminal case or not only criminal case, just something happened in another uh, situation. It's different. We work uh, part of time in the forest and part of time in the city. In the city. Okay. That, that yeah. was a good information. Thank you very much. And you start in some time to mentoring. When and why? Because your background is just search and rescue. And yeah. I know you believe the men training so much and uh, you explode in uh, Russia, or also in Turkey. We have a lot of help from you here. And uh, how you decided when you start the men training? Uh, you know, uh, when we already have a good uh, search and rescue team with Airs and Dogs, we start to work. But um, in our region, it was so big problem to have a good information. Uh, where is the people? Where, where is these people going first? And like so, a last uh, point, last seen point, like a last seen point. point. Yes, yeah. we have only last seen point and uh, very great areas of woods and swamps, and uh, not so many resources of rescuers. That's why we need uh, even first direction. Uh, as yes. minimum first direction where this person can go, you know. Yeah. So uh, we need uh, a local sector uh, to minimize the sector of searching, to okay. be effective with our dogs. That's why uh, we think and, uh, in 2010 and 2010, we start, um, we start uh, Leon mentoring. Uh, first experience, it was our uh, own mind, you know, uh, but we just... Um, uh, we just can go, for example, four hours uh, trail, a couple kilometers in the forest, and that's it. But all our cases start from 20, 24 hours and yeah, something. Yeah, real cases like that. Yes, yes. That's why we start to find a way to uh, learn it professional, uh, because we need uh, dogs who can work with uh, all trails, who can work with... Uh, uh, really uh, dirty places because you know when somebody lost uh, all, uh, all relatives all neighbors uh, try really to help search first and then call the canine teams I know same yes in, same in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly exactly <laughs> same situation all over the world yeah I think That's yes good. that's why we, we we wanted to start it 
And uh, I try, you know, I try to learn from abroad uh, because uh, our uh, Soviet uh, Union methodics we have, uh, they were great, but uh, also they concern mostly uh, border guard service. So yeah. it means not so many dirty places, no, just uh, clean forest. Uh, and uh, it means also not so old, uh, about six or eight hours and something like that. But we need uh, methodics uh, which uh, let us start, for example, from city or from uh, village and uh, when in a, from a dirty places, from a hard surface and uh, find the direction where a person go inside the forest and which direction is going. Okay. So it, most important for the men training is uh, know the direction because what you say, if you know the direction, you can uh, pass uh, other sectors to search. And that's why I believe the men training so much like you. And at this point, I want to say my uh, a name, the Kevin. So from yeah. States. Yeah, he helped a lot to me give so, too much information. Then I met him in, in the United States. And I yeah. hope he's uh, rest in peace. He he was a really good guy. He helped a lot. Everybody, not name. Yeah. Uh, it's not important for him nationality, religion. Just he helped. Yes, yes. He taught us uh, all we know, and uh, really he was ingenious, and uh, um, his methods uh, help us very much uh, to work such uh, difficult cases. That's it's why, great. for sure, it was a really great experience to work with him and to learn from him. And uh, uh, what I can, I try to share also with you guys, you know. And yeah. uh, I, I know that you have also uh, effective uh, calls out and results. It's oh, really, really much, nice. Too much. So the Burak, <laughs> you, you remember that with the German Shepherd. Burak, uh -huh. he has until now o uh, over 60 operations, 60 call out duties. And, oh, uh, he has a lot of successful uh, operations and even the, last night he was on the operation and he called me in the midnight so i'm going <laughs> and uh, it's really they find it they find it it's it's really great because uh, i uh, every time so glad to hear some some some news like this because uh, it's uh, only for me i work uh, not just uh, I, I work for a reason, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to yeah. help somebody, and it works. It uh, it's really really nice to hear it. Thank thank you very much. Thank you for your help to develop this mentoring in Turkey. And you told Airsend and the mentoring, and of course we have a tracking dogs. Uh, mm -hmm. Could you please explain us what is difference differences of this three type of training or simultaries? Mm -hmm. So, you know, our dog uh, can do both search for a scent or follow a scent. It's yeah, uh, just natural. Follow. Yeah, search yeah. It's follow. natural yes. instincts. It's two natural instincts. Uh, and they are pretty close to each other because, for example, hunting dogs switch uh, between these instincts very, very fast. Uh, yes. So, yes. So, when we teach air scent, uh, we use this natural instinct to... Uh, searching for a scent, and you know, something. Sometimes uh, these dogs uh, catch a short trail yeah, of this cut. person. Yes, yeah. and they also use a little bit trail uh, instincts. Yeah. So, uh, but when we teach man trailing, we uh, teach uh, you can only follow a scent, not searching for scent, yes. and uh, it's forbidden to search because. Uh, we don't want the situation when we uh, give uh, our uh, search and rescue team wrong direction of travel, right? Yeah. Uh, that's why it's forbidden for the dog to search. Uh, the dog only can tell us if the scent is there or not in the start point, and then uh, where is the direction of this trail, and uh, where, it, where it finished, if it's possible for sure, yeah. to go to the finish. Uh, so, uh, man trailing is about following individual scent of human. Okay. Uh, and uh, what about uh, trekking dog? Uh, it's pretty close to the trailing, but uh, it's the different is um, what is manage the dog, what scent the dog manage first of all. Uh, man trailing dogs they manage first of all 
uh, all human sand itself, like a different particle, uh, very, very little piece of uh, our skin, of our uh, right. uh, hair, and so on, you know. And uh, about, it's about tracking dogs. They managed, uh, first of all, they uh, follow uh, the sand from a disturbing ground. Yeah. Where you yeah. step, exactly, oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, it's let us, as these tracking dogs go more concrete, uh, just uh, two print steps, uh, it's really close to the real track. Yeah. But uh, the thing is that you can't uh, do this job effective on a hard surface. You can't do this job effective when a lot of people go everywhere. Yeah. And uh, you can't uh, do this job effective uh, after a lot of hours, you know, because uh, um, disturbing of surface is not living so long, the scent not living exactly. so long. That's why we need uh, mentoring dogs for such uh, difficult cases, because uh, scent from human, it's just uh, like decomposing, uh, and uh, but it's still there a uh, couple of days, you can you can catch it, your dog can catch it and follow. For That's the why it's, dogs, experienced dogs, they, they can uh, catch the yes. odors. In normal condition, for sure, not every time. It's uh, not every time possible, but still possible. And uh, when you go to the call out, uh, you, you just try and see what your dog says to you, what your dog is, uh, what is, what your dog is thinking. <laughs> I see. So uh, that was a great information. Thank you. For example, right now you have a call from the mm -hmm. police or rescuers, and uh, you mm -hmm. prepare your teams, and uh, how you start the search, how you start the operation? Mm -hmm. First of all, I find out uh, as much information about the situation as I can. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, I find out uh, all what's happened, uh, why this person leaving home, uh, where, he, where, is, was, where was his plan to go, and uh, what dress uh, he have, uh, what uh, sickness maybe, and yeah. so on. A lot of different information. It helped us uh, to manage uh, this all the situation and decide uh, which teams can be effective in these uh, conditions. Which oh. canine teams, I mean, which dogs can be effective. Um, uh, for example, in a long grass, uh, we can't uh, use uh, effective uh, our beagles. Yeah, uh, small dogs. Or, yeah, uh, or different other situations. For example, I know this uh, case is really, really old one. And I know one dog from my team is really great with these old trails. Uh, uh, I can use this dog. So, I uh, first of all, I understand what's happened exactly when and which, uh, or which facts I can know about this case. Uh, then I decide uh, the combination of canine teams I can send for this case. And it depends for sure how long time uh, after a person leaving home. Um, because, for example, if it months ago, for sure I can use uh, just uh, human reminds dogs. Yeah. Uh, and uh, not man trailing and not air scent. Uh, so if uh, it's not so um, long time ago, I can use, I can still use air scent dogs and man trailing dogs. Oh. So normally we try to combine uh, searching dogs and man trailing dog. So you're uh, looking for the uh, most effective way to find life yes. or death. Yes, sure. Uh, some uh, of our dogs can be crossed. For example, uh, we have a dog who can find a live person and human reminds also. Oh, okay. uh, and if we, not, we are not sure uh, if this person is live or not, we can use this dog, for example. So, uh, first of all, uh, when I uh, have a plan in my head how I can manage this case, uh, uh, I go to the... To the start point, place last scene, and then we um, try to, uh, like a rangers, to like, like to be like a rangers yeah. a little bit, to, uh, to look what is in the ground, what is around this place, which, uh, like a pathfinders, you know. Yeah, you collect the, the evidence, right? You collect the yes, evidence. Yes, yes, yes, because I, I need to think which place is better to start my dog, 
what's happened uh, really on facts in this uh, situation and so on. And then I can uh, try my mentoring dog or uh, use some another handler with mentoring dog. And um, we need to catch direction of where is it person go if this uh, scent is really here. So uh, after my, my uh, canine team with mentoring dog finds a direction, uh, we try to think, uh, just have a map uh, and to think what was happened. Yeah. Why this person goes this way? Because normally, you know, uh, if the person go one day ago, lost one day ago, uh, it can be really, really long trail. For example, 25 kilometers. Exactly. And no, m most of the time for my handlers, it's impossible with uh, such difficult condition, with the swamps, with the uh, deep woods. It's impossible to go 25 kilometers. It's exactly. not like a, a walking... Um, walking forest it's really difficult we, we don't have superhuman handlers <laughs> yes yes so normally they do a couple kilometers and we just think uh what what can happen with this person why he lost for example and uh, try to uh, calculate the speed of his uh, movements of his how he moves and uh we try then we try we send our airs and dogs uh, forward on this direction in this in this sector, and uh, try to catch uh, this person from another side. Uh, we use uh, different uh, roads or paths or something like that. You know, uh, to also we try uh, to find on this path forward. We try to uh, find uh, different tracks or uh, oh, evidence. Yeah. It depends the geographic sites. For example, is the mountains, is the way, the, the river, something like that. You you organize everything. Depends the geography and the surfaces sure. and the, sure. your team. That's that's sure. great. Sure. That's a very good experience. Thank you. <laughs> it's like you know, it's like a common team. First of all, yeah. it's common team. It's not about who exactly find a person. Uh, it's yeah. about how common effective will work together. Yeah, exactly. It's important to find quick to keep yes. alive. It's yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, that's good. Well, it's very good information. Thank you. And um, I have one more question. When I was start with you, the men trailing, I see uh, another uh, advantage of men trailing uh, during the trainings. Uh, some of behavior prob problems <laughs> with the men trailing training, they fix it. Uh, and I understand hunting instinct hunting the hunt drive if you push the hunt drive too much and the dogs uh, dogs forget the aggressive behaviors or shy dogs uh, going to be more confidence what do you think about it uh it's for sure you know because uh when the dogs are just boring <laughs> somewhere <laughs> <laughs> it's have uh, to do something uh, in it, it can be different uh, bad behaviors of course uh, but when the dog is busy and uh, busy his instincts mm. and uh, also use uh, his brain his nose and uh, it's a hard uh, job to main trail it's a hard job for dog yeah. but very interesting it's very natural job very uh, natural, yes. <laughs> yes and uh, that's why for sure uh, it helps with a lot of uh, different problems and the dog feel really great uh, because uh, he have a job, an interesting job to hunting people, you know, just yeah. like a man hunters for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's very interesting, not only for people, it's interesting for dogs too. <laughs> yeah, because I saw the, if you work with the dogs during the, we did a lot of workshops and the training here, even the small pets at home, and they, uh, the, the, the owners tell, oh, it's too moving. We couldn't stop him. We couldn't stop him. And I say, don't uh, keep stop the dog. Give him a job mm -hmm. to do. And then yes, yes. make him happy. Make him happy. And yes, sure. Natural training of mint, like a mint training, the dogs are really happy. Really happy. That's, uh, that's it. It's, it's true. They really like this job. And uh, even... Uh, even in these days, when we stopped before because of pandemic situation, they yes. too unhappy of this uh, situation too, and they wait also 
with us together when will be a closest training day, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. And in that days, uh, one of our trainers, uh, she makes some nose works at, at home, you know, just put mm -hmm. something and they let the dogs hunt. And uh, we, can, we cannot go out and work together because of this social distance problems. But the mm -hmm. dogs are happy to, because of the hunting, make them happy. Yes, yes, exactly. exactly. That's good. So uh, we do this exercise with the pet dogs, for example. We, this is the professional dogs are other side uh, to going to do rescue operations. But the, mm -hmm. for the pet dogs, uh, what is your advice? Uh, the pet dogs can uh, keep working and uh, in the some level they can turn the uh, working uh, on the field or they they should make this as a uh, you know event as a for for happiness what do you think about the pet dogs oh uh, i think you know in my experience you never know uh who will be save the world you know <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, i remember this word <laughs> <laughs> yeah because uh, for example uh, we have a volunteer team and some people come to us and uh, tell, oh, I want to save the world. I want to save people. I want to be a rescuer. And uh, just a couple months, and then this person just leave us, you know. <laughs> but sometimes a uh, person come and tell, oh, I want my just, just uh, make my dog busy something, with something, you know, just uh, for fun. Uh, can I be with you? And uh, I have one of these uh, such people. Uh, she already 11 years in our team <laughs> and have a lot of a lot of operation a lot of cases. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> That's why you never know who will be really volunteer and who will be just for fun. You know who oh, who will train just for fun. Uh, for but... sure, uh, uh, to go to case. Your dog uh, have uh, to be with such uh, physical condition, um, have a such like, physical condition to let this dog to go the case to the case, right? It uh, should be not too small dog or not too heavy and so on for sure. But uh, still, you can train with with your dog, uh, especially especially if you have such trainer who want to work with you who let you to your knowledge about this it's help you for sure it's help oh. your dog and it's it will be nice uh, i think it it can be nice exercises exactly exactly so my questions right now done uh, and uh, <laughs> but you you uh, explain everything very flow thank you very much and that was a great information i think for the followers and if you give permission i download this video live video and they put the youtube channel to share mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. if you give the permission because uh, the, i want to explain the people many times the men training what is men training and now in front of me there is an expert and it, oh. that was good information <laughs> for everything <laughs> <laughs> so yes sure you can put it on uh, on youtube and uh, uh, you can use this video for sure that that's good uh, and first of all uh, I want to say again, thank you to help develop mentor like in Turkey. I never, uh, I every time uh, talk about you when we do something about it, you know that, and uh, just mention you. And uh, I hope for you with the family, healthy times uh, and at this pandemic situation in the world. And thank you very much for joining our live video. <laughs> Uh, thank you to to ask me to do this because I also boring <laughs> and try to find the way to meet my friends, you know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, maybe in, in the next weeks or something, we can make a, a webinar about it for for the uh, people, uh, a close group, and the ten people, eleven people. That we can do a webinar uh, to have more information or some presentations yeah yeah sure why not it's great thank you so much uh, yeah. it's uh, love to see you and uh, say to your guys uh, my greetings and my thank hello you very much. 
And yeah. we say, stay home, Russia, stay home, Turkey. <laughs> yeah, stay home, Russia, stay home, Turkey. <laughs> yeah, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Yeah, take care. Evet arkadaşlar biraz İngilizce olduğu için e, sıkılmış olabilirsiniz ama koku takibi köpekleriyle ilgili hem benim de hocam e, Lubo onun hocasıyla da Amerika'da tanışma fırsatı buldum. E, arama kurtarma operasyonları konusunda tecrübelerini biraz öğrendik. Bu hafta biraz böyle koku takibi mentrelinkten devam edeceğiz. E, hep söylediğim gibi evde kalan köpekleriniz için onların burnunu meşgul edecek e, egzersizler bir şeyler yapmanız lazım. Sağ olsun bu sefer unutmadım. Çağla'da altta hem Çağla'nın ev köpekleri için koku egzersizleri hem de kendi köpeklerinizin takip egzersizleri yaratabilirsiniz. Yani biz bu yola çıkarken belki de köpeğiniz kahraman olabilir diye yola çıktık. Hakikaten de gerçekten çok başarılı operasyonlar yapan köpeklerimiz, köpeğimiz oldu. İnşallah bunu da geliştireceğiz. Yayına katıldığınız için, katkılarınız için hepinize çok çok teşekkür ediyorum. Bir sonraki canlı yayında görüşmek üzere. İyi akşamlar.